Hi, I'm Carl Bearden, the Executive Director of United for Missouri. We're here today with Senator Kurt Schaefer. Yep. Welcome, Senator. Welcome. Well, you've been in the midst of this controversy of uh, whether or not our personal data is being collected and sent on to the federal government. You issued a subpoena recently, so tell us about that subpoena. Right. The big issue is uh, Missouri, like many states, back a few years ago, passed a law that says the state's not going to comply with the Real ID Act, which is a requirement from the federal government, mostly through Homeland Security, to require individual citizens of states to give up a tremendous amount of personal information, uh, which they traditionally have not given up to, to, for example, get a driver's license, put that in a central database that's accessible by the federal government, other states, and whoever else they choose to have access to that information, including potentially third-party companies to buy and sell that personal data. And what comes up is when uh, citizens of the state of Missouri go in to get a driver's license, they weren't told about this policy change. Right. Now they're experiencing it when they go in to get the license. So now, so now you ask some simple questions about, you know, are you collecting personal data? Right. And if so, what are you doing with it? And the responses were not very good. Right. About two weeks ago, we sent uh, a letter to the Department of Revenue asking them for some documents that we know exist about uh, what they're gathering, what they're not gathering, and why they're doing it. We did not get a response. They did not produce any documents in response to that letter. So after that, uh, last week, we issued a subpoena to them, which we have the power to do in the Missouri Senate. And the subpoena asked for those documents. And as a result, uh, we have about uh, 50 boxes, 50 boxes exactly, that they produced in response to that subpoena. Right. So now, now you've not been able to go through the full content. Obviously, you just received those. Right. Uh, so for on a technical basis, they appear to maybe have, have met your subpoena. Well, they produced documents, uh, 50 boxes of bankers' boxes of documents in response to the subpoena. Whether those documents are responsive to the subpoena or not, we will find out as we move forward. So, so we shouldn't confuse volume with content. That's correct. So, so, and we have the letter here from uh, DOR stating that transmittal to you in compliance with subpoena. Right. So what's your next steps? Well, you know, we're not going to waste taxpayer money in this process of trying to pry information out of the Department of Revenue that they have an obligation to give us as the people's elected representatives in the Missouri legislature to begin with. So, the, you know, the trick of giving us 50 boxes and saying, well, here, you spend the people's resources to go through this rather than giving us the simple answers we asked for, we're going to go through these boxes and we're going to reconstruct from, uh, from the documents what it is they're doing. But also, we're in the budget process right now. Right. And it would be irresponsible of us to give the Department of Revenue more public money, more, people, more of the people's tax money, to carry out these same activities of sharing private documents with outside entities without telling taxpayers while we spend time going through these boxes. So we're going to go through these documents to find out what happened, but we're going to have to put the brakes on everything that revenue is doing in the meantime. And if that means stopping the budget process for the Department of Revenue as we move forward, then that's what we're going to have to do. And it's unfortunate that revenue has put us in that position, but it is our responsibility to use due diligence in how we spend taxpayers' money, and we're simply not going to allow this to right. happen. So, so they may have answered your questions in these boxes, but do they give you a catalog? Do they give you a summary of what's contained? No, and actually when you go through the boxes, for example, the first box I looked through, it's an entire box front to back of emails. But if you pull them out, you see there's, there's no organization to them. One email will be from 2009, one from 2013, the next one's from 2012, and they don't really appear to be organized by, by subject matter or content. So it, it, it appears that it's rather random. So now, you, you made mention about the budget process, and, and as we know in this building, that's really the only thing you really have to do in a legislative session is pass a that's budget right. to serve the people of Missouri. You know that. So, so you're willing to use that process, to use those tools, to use that leverage to serve the people of Missouri to get the right answer. Well, we have to. I mean, that's, that's the position that the people of the state of Missouri have put us in to be responsible in how we allocate their tax money to state agencies like the Department of Revenue to carry out basic functions for services that the citizens of Missouri expect. And when they're done in an irresponsible and misguided manner like this, it's incumbent on us to not give them any more of those taxpayer resources until we straighten that out. So we know the, the best place to hit a bureaucrat is in the pocketbook of, the, of spending the people's money. It's like a, a stake in the heart of a vampire. Right. Okay. Great. Well, thank you, Senator Schaefer. Thank Appreciate you. your work. Yep.